Hey, Marty. That's what happens when you snore. We make you, we make you sleep somewhere else. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Jacob Friends. We are down here at Kenda 660. Today is race day. If you haven't already, check out last week's video, which should be in the comments here. I've done my job properly. We had a rather successful, well, I had a rather successful test day, I think. <laughs> Still not back yet with the cylinder head. Had a bit of an issue there with the pressure ice in the cooling system. So they've taken that down to Danny's to go get the head resurfaced and make sure it's all good. We should be back up and running in that car there. Like it, it goes back together pretty quickly. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment what you think. And um, uh, Nick's car went pretty successful, as I'm sure you all would have seen from the numerous Facebook posts and stuff by now. The result would have been out. Obviously, we don't know it yet because we haven't actually raced it. Stay tuned. It's going to be a pretty good episode, I'm hoping. Really, really tight class that I'm in. Nick's in an unlimited class, but everyone in my class is running roughly around the same time, so it's all going to come down to reaction and hopefully not breaking out. Just going to run like that first pass that you did yesterday. Oh, yeah. I had a bit of a play around with my um, my launch stuff because last night I found I couldn't pull it out as fast as the temperature was fixing it. I pulled some boost down some RPM out on the start line and the f***ing kept going faster. It was actually really frustrating. <laughs> So I'm gonna get ready and um, get steady. Just some regretty. We'll see you up there for round one. Oh, actually, when Nick comes come back with his head, I'm sure we'll put some footage of that in. <laughs> well, let's have at it. What are you doing, Nick? Uh, rebuild an engine. Man, no. quick engine rebuild, mate. You know, what's what's can do without an overnight engine rebuild, right? Last nice two Kenders, I've had engines apart. In fact, <laughs> this engine apart twice. At well, least you're consistent. You have a good support network, hey, Nick? I do, yeah. Dude, those spot on boys are f***ing bang on, eh? Like, those guys are actually right? really, really awesome. So what are you doing? You're cleaning off for your goop? I'm cleaning off all the... Right now I'm cleaning the schmutz that goes inside these O-rings. Yeah. Schmutz gets in these in these O-ring holes when you do wirings. And just gets in there and they've got to be perfectly clean when you put them in. Otherwise it'll leak. Hey, do you feel brief? Uh, no, I didn't hear a f***ing word of it. Yeah. Did you guys hear any? Nope. No, exactly. How's it going, Nick? So, how did you skim it? <laughs> skim? <laughs> you mean so a billet block of a billet flat block, block of stick of aluminium and a 320 grit sandpaper? All, all we're gonna do this time is we're gonna have a bigger line from the radiator to the boot. Is the perfect amount, Nick? I honestly don't actually know, but I've been getting in trouble for I put too much on apparently, so I'm gonna put a little bit less on this time. These are the same guys that told us to paint it on like a paintbrush. <laughs> Everyone's like, paint it on, you can't put too much on there. And then we took the head off last night, they're like, oh, you probably put too much on that. Not like, <laughs> well, you are committed, Nick. We're uh, getting ready for first qualifier in Renegade. I've got time for a nervous wee, you reckon? I'll be back in a sec. First run for the day. Yeah. So hopefully you get that 550. I hope so. You did really well with your reaction times yesterday. So did you outreact, Nick? We're going to win something now, eh? Exactly. Well, good luck. out of it on that run there to actually run a 550 and like we're off by like nine hundredths yeah F 5491 with a 131 60 foot yeah i need like a 132 i reckon it can get us dialed in I need to sharpen up that reaction time a bit because that's still like a 150 is it's terrible oh well, it looks like you're going to be competitive in your class and you can slow it down enough but it came up and it bumped in yeah and Good. everything worked free, and it took off exactly what i expected it's great. so what are you going to do now jake i'm going to me and Sean sat down and talked about the launch strategy. We've got a lot of adjustability on the keypad. We know roughly where a 550 is, and I basically wanted adjustability in small increments in both directions. But what I've found just then on the star line is if you actually hold it long enough and the, the rev settle down, that that's, should be where you're launching from. So we must have been leaving early previously in order to run slower times. I'm now gonna set that as the highest setting we can possibly run because as the air temp cools and everything gets better, it's just gonna go faster. So I'll set a new medium point. We'll hit it again in, in second qualify. I have a feeling that throughout the weekend we'll be turning it down more throughout the day. But yeah, it's good, it's good. At least we're getting somewhere. So how'd you go, Nick? Where are you up to? So when that's on, we're just 
finishing the last bits now. Inner cooler pipe's got to go on still, and then leads back in, then we can start it, cooling it, and then we can hit it. Water pressure that thing? Six pound. What did they have last night? 20, 28. At idle. At idle. <laughs> it was 45 and 46 over the finish line of coolant pressure in that thing last night. I think it had like 20 or 30 and up on the start line. Yeah! So for anyone that wants to get into a three hour set, if you're asking if you should, fantastic don't. engines. <laughs> hey cutie. Hey. How you going Nick? Fantastic. A bit nervous. Not really, I hope I get to race Mr. Hoff over here. That'd be cool. Well, I've helped Hoff a few times with his car crewing and bolting shit onto it, and it's cool just to run against him, to be honest. How you feeling, Nick? Ah, uh, yes. Nervous. Yep. Yeah, well. How you feeling, Jake? I'm feeling less nervous. That car that only took 15 weeks to build only took one night to do a cylinder head rebuild. Here we are. Plenty more where this come from. It's so hot in this car. Pressure's back at 20 pounds. What? What did I just hear? Water pressure's back at 20 pounds. Also, there was a massive ball patch there. We tried to steer you around it, but it was just balled everywhere. It's pretty, it's pretty Three cars that went down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That Subi that went down first. Just as soon as I saw that Subi do it, I was like, oh, I sank it down. As we went up there, Justin's like, steer him away from that. There's like two big ball patches. And we tried to get you around it. You blew it off. I blew it off. Like, yeah, that was the end of it. Um, we're going up now. Oh, yeah? Yep. <laughs> Hey there. 550s? Uh, I hope so. I got a 550 chin up in it again. Yeah. It's got a smidge out. Okay. So. Hey, look, it's Golby. Hi. Who gets the rights to this uh, video? Whoever pays us for. This is Jake changing the shirt. Jake would like to say Sparko for their sponsorship. I'd like to thank the future owner of Golby's Parts. Can do some passes. Let's go. I dialed. You got a nominated time, and my nominated time was. 5515. Five, so far, I haven't even come close to getting that. I've been too far in the wrong direction. Too quick the whole time. So, a little tiny bit out, and let's see if we'll go. If this goes a 550 this pass, we'll have to start pulling more and more out because it's only going to get faster and faster with the air temp drops. It is pretty hot. We're at peak at the moment. I, I can feel it. This is uh, this is second qualifier in old 275 Crusader here. Did you ever come up with a name for it? Just aggressive. Aggressive. Honestly, I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, it is. No. Last one we called Taylor because it blew a diff up this thing to Taylor Swift. How you feel mate? What you second ball for? I can't turn my head. Blink if you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the right spot. That's the latest night tune. If um if we race again, uh, if the qualifier still has this heat in it, I'll probably go a little bit more. If not, I'm probably gonna race on this tune for the rest of the night. 553 at 128 with a 135 60 foot. It was pretty slow off the line. Well, I did notice how little it had in it when it come up. It come up and it just settled and I'm like, oh, that that's everything. I fully expected it like the, the launch strategy earlier was just like way more aggressive and that's just like, Mah. oh, okay. We're going. What happened? Um, it looked like something was flicking up, like at about just after the tree. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know if it was cool or something spray out of the car. I don't know. Maybe. Did yeah. anyone walk out on the track to see? Yeah, to mop it. I'm gonna push the dips together again. Is it bad? Uh, not really, but it's do, definitely. Uh, it's still in there, but it's just pushing past it. Oh, you got crankcase pressure problems, I've got coolant pressure problems. We combine the two, we'll have unreally bad engines, unreally good engines. Pushing out. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Nah, nah, that's residual. That's from, oh, last, that's okay. from last night. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's It fine. looked more like it was from the nah, right side. It looked more like it was from the right side, so that's why I thought maybe it's... Patch cam's on the right. 
Yeah. Check out. Well, it might just be breathing out of it. Last night I blew the f***ing just yeah, spray yeah. it all over <laughs> Well, it was, it was rust, uh, rust proofing it. I was on the start line. One of, um, someone's gone, oh, that's leaking. And one of the boys on the start line was like, no, it's not, it's a Jay-Z, they don't leak. And they let me run. And it missed the catch, it missed the under train. Like, went all down the side of the car. <laughs> might check that catch again. I haven't really touched it. So it's Has it got a drain on it? Yeah. Well, that's not cool. Yeah. yeah. It's just not pushing it. Uh, I wonder what came out of it. It's probably just breathing. Because it was like when you're flat picky, so. Yeah, that was so dull out the whole way. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. the launch strategy, you should everything it from it felt so weird. It was, it was just like, it didn't even separate yeah. until like five meters that's, down. That's why I was surprised you even like ran yeah, what you were like, around. Like, no power and nothing. Didn't do anything on the line. Like, 553, I'm like, how did he get down? That track is so bad. That's how I got down yeah. on the 553. And then, and then Aaron come back and he's like, oh, I didn't didn't take off till like 10, 15 feet out. Like, I oh, hell, he's saying yeah. he should flip the 53. It went a 135, 60. Wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Yarwood blow the tires like, off. I tried to drive around it and stage next to it. And last night you went a 129. Last night would have been your PB 62, wouldn't it? Nah, I got a 129 before. Yeah, but it, I don't think that was a PB 8 mile here. No, you went, you went, you've been 545. Yeah, the only thing I keep it yesterday was a reaction on it because, dude, just then 189 reaction. I went 132. We need to race each other. Yeah, that's the only way I'm going to sharpen up. Race him yesterday went 05. Yeah, don't nah. come out all night, race each other. I went 07, you went 050. Do you know what that means though? It means we fix the problem, we're just <laughs> races. It means we need to get more competitive. Yeah. What do you have there, Jake? <laughs> that litre of oil that keeps going missing. Oh. <laughs> Is that the thing that's been spraying out the car? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a trickle of it coming out the breather oh, hole. Okay. Yeah. Where are you going to put the rest of this? <laughs> oh, but wait, there's more. I dropped the bung too, so I'm holding my finger over the hole. Can I put a little spout in this? When's the last time you emptied this thing? <laughs> Yesterday. Holy. Man, that's two dash 12s. Why don't you put it through the floor like a normal human and f***ing drain it under the car? Oh, we put a fitting on there so I can do that. And obviously it didn't do it. A bit warm out, mate? Uh, you gonna do a wheel stand or are you gonna do a burnout? So hopefully somewhere between? Both. Both at the same time. I'm just saying to Lisa, like, you yeah. know, for a long time though, I'd be like yeah, out sorry, here helping sorry. often get his fire suit. Yeah. Suit up. I only got I'm, it. Doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing it next to him. Oh. You both yeah. got you got both got wet undies together. Yeah, that's cute, eh? <laughs> and we both are sweating out. Yeah, they're both sweating. I looked at him, he goes, how would I say a bit hot this guy? If you want some water, let me know. Cooking him, man. Man, my balls are swimming right now. Absolutely. Smoothie a la Nick. Yeah. <laughs> um, Predictions, Nick, how do you think we're gonna go? Uh, I'm gonna leave on the lowest launch setting I can, leave on go middle boost again. Maybe one, two, three? Hopefully, yeah, or one, two, four or something. Oh yeah. Hopefully it'll go. It's a bit bloody hot here, five, to be honest. If it goes by 40, but it's gotta go, that's the trick. I don't know how good the track is right now, so I don't know how. It feels like it's nearly 30 degrees at the moment, it's quite hot. Dude, and the thing is, it's like right now, an hour when we run next, it'll be, the sun will nearly be gone and it'll be amazing if we yeah. put it all in. You've like, got about a three hour window of the track being perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, like we'll that's see. why I think there's less 235 cars and stuff, because no one's, everyone's just going, well, I'm not going to get down, so why bother? Yeah. Let's wait till tonight. Like, if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So we'll see what happens. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll push you down. We've got to do now. We've got a few cars to go. And is this Q2? Yeah, key three. key three. Key three for me, key three for everyone else. Right here. Takes a hit, extend, yeah. like separates, right up, and then let go. 
They let go about four meters out. I felt it go and take off and then just sink. Well, that was the best bit I could see on the track. There's nothing there. No, no. And that was rough, like, but it, oh, was, no. it was the most rubber that was on there. Took the hit, I was like, it's gonna go, and then it just fing let go. So, so yeah, that was your last qualifying game. Yep, it's pretty good. You done, what was your best? Oh, uh, 553. Five, five, Someone went 550 five, oh, with an O20 reaction. You know, you can run the 550 piss easy, so it's just that reaction time and. Oh, the... my reaction time is a bit. The only good reaction time I've had all weekend was against Nick. Well, hopefully, they spray the track as it cools down and then it comes back. Hopefully, yeah. Here you got this green thing. I might have a fire run. Ooh, that'd be ideal. Apparently, right. my last guy fing engine or something. No, he's racing him. Apparently, my guy got pushed off the racetrack last run. So I don't know how that works. Oh, yeah, no, have I you, don't know. Have you topped off your coolant tank at the back? I've no, he does that. He does oh, that at the, at the 330. I've emptied that one and I filmed that one. Yeah. The circle of life. So round one, Fox body versus maybe no one. Let's 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 see oh, how it goes. On. That's a bit better, Nicholas. Not a bit nicer. That was probably the most front wheels being off the ground so far. Was it? It looked like it. 125 is a 60. It wasn't that nuts. Yeah, but you got to turn down a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you had it on two, didn't you, on the launch? This stuff was one. Track was there. Looked good. Oh. Clean. What was that, yeah, that was what was that a 43? Myself, like, this thing's going to spin again. It's going to spin again. It's going to spin again. Then I go to the button. It's like, nah, it's going. Was that a 43? So. You're lucky because you got to buy. Yeah. You can test, so you're going to turn it up for the next? Yeah, I think so. I'll put on the next. I'll put on the 33 set from last night. Mine, well, the track's going to come around now. Mine, we'll just scotch back in it and see if we go on 20. In the... Yeah. yeah. Well, you got no more boost. Yeah, I'm out of boost. Yeah. I try more boost, but I don't think it's going to do it. No. Maddie line you up? I think that top shock. I took the hit and spun. Well, that's what happened the other one. I told you it max it fully separated <laughs> and then let go. And then just zinged it. it did it to the other one as well. Yeah. Have you touched the shocks? We tightened them. You sure you went the right way? Danny tightened them. I'm not saying anything on film. It's clockwise. Clockwise is tighter. Danny was it? Do you want to check them? I haven't been. Like the well, the other time when I mind. Like it, it took the hit and then Well, that's like when I, I lined you up the other time. It took the hit, fully separated, yeah. and about four meters out, let go. Yeah, I think that's that was a bit shorter this time, no, but it did no, hit. That, that, that's all bit, I think it went quite far before it let loose. So. Oh, yeah. no, I pulled the log out. And, there was a big flame that came out when you got back into it. Yeah. Probably the reason why I keep pushing oil out. Daisy loves 10,000. Daisies out here. don't leak oil, <laughs> especially not down the entire track. That's not what we said to people last night, and then it was us. So you got round two. Capri, orange Capri. He ran 540 something before. Oh, you got this then? 5 something today, 540 something today. So I'm going to put more in on the launch. Yeah, you are. It's got the same, it's going to have more boots at the back, and it's got. A little bit look. It definitely doesn't have an extra degree or two of timing in it. Stephen likes it, I mean, you know, I consulted with my laptop and I decided that it needs one more. <laughs> What's the game plan, Jacob? I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. Uh, so, how did you go, Jacob? You don't look very happy. Oh, I'm top the shots again. I'm starting to wonder if there's something wrong. It was running flawlessly all weekend and then the last three passes just topped instantly bang 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 one after the other back to the drawing board also hit a safety or popped or something over the finish line i yeah, got right. back into it and hit second and grabbed that out and then it and then popped a little yeah right 
Yeah. What is? I was just saying, man, like... It didn't separate even a little bit. Yeah, I was just saying, man, I'm like, something's wrong. Is this round three? You a bit tired? I'm tired. I'm pretty tired. Pretty f***ing I'm wrecked. All right, let's, let's do it. So to pack up and friends. Fucking pack up and friends. You good? Is it broken? Yeah, yeah it's, it's broken. Well. Brand new gazebo and he, and he broke a little tent pack thing. I would say pack it up, but I mean. Yeah, this is Jake tie your shoe lace. This is, how, this is how we tie our shoes. Hey, I drank last night. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this a confessional? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is a denial. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why you're the last one to get up. You're usually the first one to get up, aren't you? Yeah. I'm doing your power walk. Dude, around. it was like <laughs> three o'clock this morning. We were coming back from um, Horrence, little campground there. And I lost my phone. So it's like around everywhere because I could not find my phone anywhere. Yeah. Turns out I jumped in O'Carroll's car. I, oh, I fell yeah. out and went sitting in O'Carroll's car. So Jake's calling me and shit, and I'm like, why the fuck is his phone? It's not around here. Fuck, I don't know what's going on. I'm ringing. He's not even answering. We, we drove up in Ian's car. It's a fucking thing. I'm looking. It's sitting on the, fucking, uh. the car. I'm like, oh, there it is. It was a, it was a race meet. We did exactly at a race meet what we always seem to do. We came all the way out to like, break cars. We spent, we spent 15 weeks building a new car and bringing another car to the racetrack to find. Let's fuck some more. Shit. <laughs> So Nick won three for three races. I did. I'm last currently night. undefeated in Outlaw 235. Fuck, because he's so <laughs> slow. <laughs> didn't even make anything. <laughs> he didn't even make the final. Because I'm only like seven and a half slow. tenths off. Like that's all it is to the eighth. I think I think there's probably another pound of boost in it. Might happen. Probably not. But um yeah, there we go. Uh, you're yeah. just having it from my perspective. <laughs> <laughs> the way it works is round robin. So the last, you, you, yeah, it's whoever gets three from three, and then goes the if, if there's more than two cars with more with three from three, then they the, go off the fastest times. They go off the fastest times in the previous round, which I was only like seven tenths off. So meanwhile, and the old Crusader was running totally flawless and struggling, turned down all weekend, decided and the qualifier no longer wanted to play the game, and I didn't get another clear run in until round three. But I cost someone the series, uh, the champion, uh, the fucking, I cost someone the win in the final in round three because it was the only time I, I, I fucking pedaled it in 60 and then I drove around someone and he was on a run. If he had done three for three, he would have won. And I cost him the fucking race meet. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, but it was good. It was good. It was funny. Sorry, I'm not, but. Sauce. We were driving that thing around last night and we pulled back up and he come over and he's like, you f***ers, you were the one that f***ing cost me to race me. <laughs> that he was, was good. He was consistent at all all weekend too. Yeah, yeah. And he was he was saying that... Um, he was one like five, 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 five bars, so. Yeah. They were saying that they were watching me and they're like, oh, he hasn't put a run down all weekend. You'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And it was the only run I gripped and took off and drove around him. And... Yeah, he went, what, 580? Oh, yeah, he had a bad run. Yeah. Yeah, there was no saving it. Yeah. Yeah, I know, all in all, it was, it was pretty fun. And um, yeah. I guess I guess next week we'll be heading down Jamboree. So now what we're going to do, we, we thought we were going to have a situation where we are going to be making two, one car out of two cars to go to Sydney. Turns out there's a third car somewhere that I'm going to steal apart from that. Oh, that did convert a lot. Not, yeah, so, yeah. That, that, the converter is done. It went from like a 5,000 stall to an infinity 1,000 stall. Yeah, it's, it's more like a clutch with the pedal pushed in. I think it might now be less than nuclear under there. <laughs> it was pretty f***ing hot when I come back from that other run, that last run. It's probably still be warm. Maybe. Um, <laughs> so I've got, a, I've, I've got a mate with a converter that I'm going to put in there. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you when we get to Sydney. Oh, oh I'm not looking forward to that. Do it again, do over, do over. <laughs> <laughs> 